All right, let's start with a quick look at our radar, and we certainly see the activity blossoming in parts of western Minnesota. Here is the active area of concern right now. Storms in Wadena County pushing out towards the Brainerd-Baxter area at this time. An abundance of lightning and some significant hail, as we've been showing you throughout the broadcast. Elsewhere, northwest Minnesota, things quieting down. There was a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for you. That's been canceled. All the severe stuff moving way out to the east. However, we could see shower activity in your area this evening. Out to the west, west of the Red River, chance is fairly minimal of anything potent hitting in the evening hours. Severe thunderstorm warning for Cass and Crow Wing County out by the Brainerd area and points north. As these cells are moving to the north and east, notice Wadena, you still have heavy rain in your area, but where we see these deep red cells right here, those are the hail cores. So really it's in eastern parts of Ottertail County now where that hail threat continues, uh, mainly south of places like uh, um, Sabika heading on into the uh, counties to your east. There is the hail core I'm speaking of. This one has a history of some significant hail. We still could be seeing where you see the little blue pixels there, some hail close to one inch in diameter. But tonight we've had uh, numerous photos of the hail reaching well over one inch in diameter. All this moving to the north and east at 45 miles per hour means the Wadena area and Sabika. You'll be seeing thunder shower activity oh, for the next 20 minutes or so, and then it will exit. And then our risk for severe weather really, well, it goes way down as we go through the evening hours. We can't rule out a spotty sprinkle here and there as you're enjoying your Friday night football. Be prepared for some brief intermittent shower activity. But as far as severe weather goes, I think we're done. That cloud right there is the top of the thunderstorm complex that's moving through Lakes Country right now. At Hector, it is 78 degrees. Winds from the south at 8 miles per hour. It's muggy out there. Been sticky all day with dew points near 70 degrees. 81 degrees in Valley City. Follow that Cheyenne River Valley down, and that's where we have those 80s. 81 in Cavalier and Grand Forks as well. Right now, look at Bedette, a cool 65 degree reading there. And for Friday night football in Lakes Country, once the storms exit, we'll see temperatures generally in the upper 60s and low 70s for the evening. Your hour by hour forecast shows our line of thunderstorms will continue to push out to the east. Anything strong or stout once we get towards the sunset hours will mainly be off to the far east out of our viewing area. Can't rule out a hit or miss sprinkle tonight, but by and large, it'll be much quieter for the remainder of your evening as temperatures slip back overnight into the 50s. With all of the moisture around in the lower atmosphere, some patchy, dense fog to begin your weekend on Saturday morning with temperatures in the 40s for some in the northeast quadrant of North Dakota to mid 50s in our southern and eastern counties. Going through the day, abundant sunshine. Great for tailgating there for the big bison game tomorrow. Temperatures rising to near 70 by the midday hour. We'll be pushing our way to near 80 degrees, light winds, and our threat for any rain or anything of that nature will not come until later in the evening as a little boundary approaches our northwest counties first. So late night showers will be in the forecast as we go into your Sunday morning. But by and large, we get one great day for sure out of the deal for this three-day weekend. I'll show you more in a second on the rest of your holiday weekend. Temperatures throughout the afternoon hours ramping up through the 70s. We peak at 80. Crystal clear skies and wind that will not be a concern. 75 Valley City and Langdon. Devil's Lake 77 tomorrow afternoon and it looks like temperatures in the mid 70s for most of Lakes Country as well. A fitting photo sent in by our friend Tiffany Qualley in Comstock of some beautiful lightning out there. We had some down not far from you in Comstock today. Sunday, uh, mainly morning showers and storms. That's that remnant stuff from Saturday night. Temperatures near seasonable for this time of the year. How about Labor Day? We close it out with a dandy. Can't rule out uh, some showers and thunderstorms returning for our return to work and school on Tuesday as temperatures will be in the 70s more than the 80s as we go through the majority of next week. All right. Thank you so much. You bet.